Yo, what's up? Good morning. This is Alex here, and 5 a.m. I'm in Dalat. After spending a week in the south, and I take a hop on the bus uh, at midnight last night to get into Dalat. And this is one of my favorite places because um, when I'm in the south of Vietnam, um, the temperature is constantly about 35 degrees. I sweat too mad. But in here, it's only 20 degrees. Look, I can wear my jacket again. It's in the hill, so that's why it's cooler. Um, me and five other people renting the whole suite. This is the greenhouse. So apparently they're using um, recycling material to build this house. So very excited. Good job for them for knowing recycling. All these materials all these materials, um, when I look at online, they claim to be um, recycling materials. And they have like a couple of sweet in there, this one, that one, that one. Let me take you guys around one tour. Okay, I'll take you to the upper floor and this is where we're gonna stay for the night. Um, I really like the design so far of this homestay. Uh, they have a hardwood floor and quite spacious. And here is the balcony. They have a huge balcony. I love it. And let's take a look at the washroom. Really modern. There's a, a shower place. Everything look nice, clean, modern. Love it. And here we have like we have two beds, one double bed and one upper bed up there. I'm probably gonna take the upper one. And this is the other room where uh, half of us gonna be sleeping in this room. Very similar design to the other one. Um, hardwood floor, huge bed spaces, huge balcony. The only difference is this one has a detached washroom, very clean, modern, I love it. I always check washroom cleanliness whenever I go. They had a balcony, so I just got, gotta do it, I just gotta do it. Walk in the balcony. Check in, check in. So after a quick breakfast, I head to the Dantala waterfall, and this near the lake that I wanted to go. So that's why uh, we're gonna go here. And also because this lake that has a lot of outdoor activity, just like you know when you go to like a PNE or a amusement park. And I'm gonna try the the speeding cart. I don't know what it is. It's, it's like that. I don't know if it's called a spitting car or not. But...
forward to the honor. The first time trying this, man, it's only five bucks by Vietnamese. Vietnam is the best. Yeah. Yo, 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 what's up, what's up? What's up? So this is going up, so you don't need to control this. They're just like using like some sort of, uh, I think electricity or magnetic force to pull you up. So you don't have to control this at all. On the way down, like right here, you have to push to go forward. Okay, we are at the bottom and here you can see the waterfall over there. I'm gonna go around to take some pictures and then take the uh, take the cart to get back up there again. And oh, by the way, that $5 uh, ticket, that is is round trip, so you get quite a bit of value on that 5 bucks. Done with the done with the waterfall. Now let's go to the temple. This is called the Bamboo Temple Styles. Um, it's just next door, so that's why we go. See, all bamboos. connection to get down to the lake which is a plus and the boat station and of course there's some stuff selling in here All right, there's a good news and a bad news. Good news is we are finally here at the Ho Tuing Lam, which is a beautiful, the best lake in Da Lạt. But the bad news is this is noon, uh, so it's way too hot. We're probably going to pass on the kayak and go to the coffee shop instead. But I will take some drone shot of the lake and enjoy.
Yo, what's up? So, this is a uh, Dalak view. It's uh, the view out of the city. Um, one of my, when I look at, when I look at a review online, this is one of the best places that you can take a, take a look at a city. Wow, this place is stunning. There's a scenery, there's a city view, mountain view. Wow. To be honest with you, this is really well decorated. And I see that a lot of people come here with the camera to take a picture and check in the place. And let's walk over the other side. So, when I come closer, look. If you look it up like this, it looks like a, like a sky gate. And look at that view over there. Lovely, isn't it? Alright, I'm going to order my drink. Uh, drinks in here are a little bit more expensive than the average price, but that is reasonable consider how much investment they put in this place. And then I'll take a few more pictures before we head back to the hotel. Okay, so after taking a lot of pictures at the coffee shop, we are heading to get some food. Um, this is tapioca cake. I'm not sure what it is. I'll just show it to you. This is pretty famous in Dalai, so... Okay, this cake called Ban Kang. Um, it's a specialty of Dalek like, and you eat with uh, dipping sauce. The dipping sauce is a bowl of meatball and salted green onion. You dip it and eat the bánh cang with the meatball. Cái này là bánh căng trứng hả? Cắn cái đó xong mình cắn cái bánh kia để ăn miếng xíp cùng. After finishing the bánh cang, we head back to the hotel. But on the way, we got caught under the rain. Then the raining in Vietnam is insanely heavy. So when it happens, you will find somebody else's roof um, high under that and wait until the rain is over. And this experience is something that I oddly miss when I moved to Canada. Hey, because it is raining this evening, so we change our menu to like eating barbecue. And this is another bigger place in Dalai. Oh man, this restaurant is so crowded and immediately they brought us the stove with the, with the roof, the brick of the roof on top. Uh, we're gonna cook our food in there and uh, dipping sauce which is a green pepper chili lime. The root put on the stove is at an angle so that all the excess oil and sauces will fall towards the plate. And the menu is 
pretty cheap as well. Majority of the dishes are under 150k, which is seven dollar range. To be honest, this is one of my highlight of the trip because when you go as as six people, you able to order a lot of different dishes, and it only turned out to be 25 bucks. I love it absolutely. After having a feast at a barbecue, like we're heading to the night market at the downtown of Dalek, and this is a this night market is probably probably one of the biggest one that I ever been to, if not the most the biggest one, the most crowded one. <laughs> So many no pets like when we come here it's not even half full but now look at that so it's like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve like twelve rows and about like fifty each row so like this easily five hundred more pets I like, in the parking lot <laughs> Oh man, this is avocado, bigger than my hand. Avocado smoothie. Ooh. Ice cream. This is so creamy and so smooth. Love it, man. After that, we just walk around the city, enjoy a cup of hot soy milk at night, and have some rice sheet pizza. And that's it for the first day. I'll see you tomorrow.